So here's what we're going to do today. First of all, you're able to log in, obviously, and set the uh, dashboard up. All right, here's the purpose of today. We're, we like to do onboard sessions in small pieces, okay? okay? We'll end up doing four, five, or six. Frankly, sometimes it's four, three, two, because people feel, you know what, I got this, I'm good. I don't want okay. you to do that. I want you, no matter every step of the way, especially for the next month, so while you start to progress and get make progress and set up stores and they get launched, you'll feel comfortable. That's great. Let's agree. We're going to get together at least once a week, even for 15 minutes and have check in sessions. Go, you know what? Good. Now we're going to take it to the next step. Now we're going to take the next step. Our goal is within a month. You feel like you're the most competent technical person on TUL that has ever been born. Two things for today, make sure your account is set up correctly, which I was nosing around. Looks like it's good. So a couple things okay. I want to share with you on the what we call the My Account page. Then we'll get into the outcome of this call. Every piece of information we need to get your first stores up and running. That's the primary focus of our session today. Okay. All right. So to start, yep. you logged in. You provided great information. I just want to go through an overview of some of the uh, sections on the My Account page down the side. Okay. So that when you have a few minutes, you can go back and log in and start to set up what we call the foundational information. So you changed your uh, username and password, right? Yes. All right. We don't store passwords. So if you ever forget your password, you have to reach out to us. We have to reset it. We don't have a record of your password. Okay. The accounting piece we'll cover in the second or third session, and that is once you have stores that are launched and are about to close. This is okay. one of the most important ones. I want you to take about 10 or 15 minutes uh, as a next step as a homework assignment. Click mm -hmm. on the update default settings. Go in and actually complete to the best of your ability. Uh, let me cl click this out here. To the best of your ability, all of the standard, what we call boilerplate information. The example okay. would be, when I set up a store, generally what will be the fulfillment details? I want to let the shopper know that the items will be delivered two weeks after store close, 10 days after order. So what you generally think will be your fulfillment details, just put okay. enter that there. You can always go in and change it when you set up an individual store, but it'll save mm -hmm. you time if you've actually put something in there. Now okay. here's a little tip that frankly is a little bit weird, but it's important to note. Uh, it's it's internet stuff, browser stuff, it's not TUO mm -hmm. stuff. Do you see these boxes where you can put stuff in? Yep. Don't copy and paste from another document. Okay. So gotcha. it's best to just sit and enter. Might be a pain in the butt, but it'll be worthwhile. All right? Okay. Sounds good. So store fulfillment, store introduction text. Keep that brief. All that is is usually it's just the statement at the top. This is an online store, spirit store. This is for the XYZ high school. Yep. The store bulletin, that's actually where most of the directions you will provide to the shopper. This is a spirit store for XYZ high school. Uh, it, the store will be open this date, close this date. Personalized items cannot be refunded. So all the good information goes in the bulletin section. So the bulletin section, let's start easy at first. Just put words in there. Well, bulletin is, like I said, the general information that you want to convey to your client. You'll see it when you launch a store and you can go back and change it. The other thing I wanted to just point out that's pretty cool, this is what's mm -hmm. called a rich media enabled box. Notice how it's different from this up here? Yep. So you could do a lot more things with it. So you could add pictures. You can okay. add links to websites. So I'll okay. give you a small example. A lot of our clients, they'll launch a team store, but they'll want the shopper to be able to have access to their website. So they'll put okay. the, hey, if you want more stuff or the stuff you are looking for isn't here, click here and visit our website. Now it takes them out of your store, but. So this is a very powerful box. Don't worry about it. As we go, we'll show you some really cool things you can do with it. Okay. And then the rest of the stuff should be fairly self-explanatory. Customer order receipt text, it's every order is a receipt that's sent out to your shopper. Uh, okay. It's a great way to communicate to them. So it, similarly, it's a rich media box. What a lot of our clients will do, go thank you, reminder, orders will be delivered on, and then you go, oh, wait, one more, one more point. We're having a sale on our website. So it's a receipt that goes out, HTML, and you put a yep. web, website sale, and then similarly, you put a link to your website. Okay. All right. 
And it's a great way to drive traffic back to you from the receipt that was sent out. All right. So this is yeah. all a store setup. Again, I say once you click what you think is going to be the set, uh, settings for most stores, just click update mm -hmm. default. Okay. Don't worry about if you make a mistake because when you go to set up a store, you can change any of it. It just saves okay. time. All right. Yeah. A couple other things I just want to uh, remind you of. Some of this stuff we'll cover next time in a couple f uh, future sessions. Mm -hmm. Which other emails that go out to your shoppers, you can actually customize them as well. Generally, that's for more sophisticated roster based, like teams, clubs. So we'll talk about that in the future. Okay. This one here, uh, you may not be aware, but you can add as many users under your account as you want. Okay. So let's say you hire a new graphic artist person and they're going to do stores solely and you want them to manage their own accounts or a new sales rep or what have you know that you want them to manage their own accounts. All you have to do mm -hmm. is click manage users, click on create new user, fill out that information, click that button there. They have their own yep. account. It's underneath your account. Okay. All right. Uh, well, again, some of the stuff will worry this more advanced modules that we can worry about as we go. One other quickie, which I'll just uh, point out, which might be a great idea for right now. And frankly, we added this about two years ago. And a lot of our clients have been with us for four, five, six years. Say, mm -hmm. boy, I wish you'd added it four, five, six years ago. Make my life a lot easier. Anytime you set up a store, yep. you can tag it. You can put a label on it. Okay. So if, you, if that's something you want to do, it will make it easier for you to organize your stores in the future. Then I'll give you an example. Uh, let's say, let's pretend you do your business by sport. Uh, yep. I can actually create a store label. I go to my account section and I create a store label called baseball. Mm -hmm. All right. I can create another one and another one. What happens is when I go to set up a store, when I go to set up a store, you can actually label that store, tag it as a baseball store. Yeah. Then every store you built in the future that's a baseball store, 15, 20, 80 of them, you've tagged them. Yep. They'll be easier to find. A couple of quickies real quickly. Whenever you, uh, we give you a choice of setting up uh, different designs for your stores, which I'll show you in just a second, you might recall. You can log into your account and change the templates for you and create color templates. Okay. So you say, hey, I want you to match uh, a store that matches the logo for this organization. You send us the logo. We go in and actually set the colors for the store so it looks just like the colors you're trying to match for us, okay? Perfect. All right. So here's what we're going to do next. That's all. You can. You really can't break anything in here. So okay. go ahead and try to. All right. <laughs> uh, you'll run into situations in which you've got items in your store that are not classic sizes. So it's not okay. a shirt. It's a ball. It's a blanket. It's toddler. It's a very important feature that as you go, you'll say, I'm glad I know it's there. Don't worry about how it works. Mm -hmm. But anytime you need to set up custom sizes that are available in stores you set up, you can create any custom sizes you want right here. So you just okay. go up and add a new category. I'm going to call it toddler, toddler sizes. And then what you're doing is actually having that size available as a choice when you're setting up your stores in the catalog. Okay. All right. So now the real important part for today so again, dashboard, fun to play with. There's a lot in there. Go ahead, click around, see what's in there. Don't worry about too much about it right now. The focus now is to get your stores up and running. Let me take a minute and explain uh, an important, maybe not now, but eventually down the road. We do okay. offer three different store types, you might recall. In the demo, we kind of talk about it as rosters, and it's confusing mm -hmm. to people. Mm -hmm. so now, that, now that you're in here, I just want you to be aware uh, you probably won't use this one here, but you never know. It's called Club okay. Store. Yeah. Club Store and Team Store are stores that you can set up that are based on rosters. So a lot of our larger dealers that serve large sports organizations or, frankly, companies, corporate apparel, they use the club mm -hmm. stores. And all that is is multiple teams, one roster per team, all rolled up under a club. Those are big, big, okay. big, big, big. One level down, still roster based, and we say roster, but it, like I said before, can be an employee list. As long as it has a first name, last name, email address, 
don't even need a okay. phone number. Uh, so if you ever run into a situation which there is a fixed number of people, a company, an organization, a charity, mm -hmm. which you know who's going to who's going to come in and be invited to shop, it's always better to set up the store as a roster store. Okay. If you can, you don't have to. But it makes your life easier and their life easier. Simple. There's so many features that we, our system will take care of if you have a roster. Sending out invites okay. automatically. Sending out reminders to those who haven't come in and shopped. So those are the differences between uh, the two stores, club and team, versus spirit. You're going to mostly do spirit, especially to begin with. Okay. Spirit is, I don't know. There's not a list attached. So pretty much anybody can come in, anyone who has the password. Or you have it open. Anyone can come in. So what we're going to do is set up your first store as spirit stores. All right. Okay. Now I'm not going to go through it entirely, but just what well, here's what we're going to do. And I wanted to close the loop. When I set up the store defaults earlier, which I did not do, I did not say them because I want you to do it. They would be here. This is where I'm going to set up a new store. So you've pre-populated a lot of this stuff here and it looks overwhelming. So okay. for example, this was pre-populated in your default setting. Had we saved the store bulletin, mm -hmm. so that's why it's important to go back, spend 15, 20 minutes, put as much information in there as you can in the default store settings under the My Account page. So what we're going to do next is to make your life easier and to save you a lot of time. We're going to stop. That's all we're going to share with you today. Okay. Set up your account. Have fun. Uh, set up the default settings for the stores. Go in okay. if you want and create a store or two and play around. Just don't launch it. Okay. So you can go in and you can do whatever you want. You can have fun. Uh, you re might remember the steps. Play around here. Play with the store. This is where you mm -hmm. can select the design. I want design two tile. You know what? We have pre-baked uh, color themes in there. Or I want to create my own. So you can't break this part. Go in, set up a store, change the dates, have fun, upload logos. Right? Okay. Just don't launch the store. In the meantime, separately, you're going to put that list together of the items that you want. If you yep. can get JPEG, ideal. High resolution JPEG will make the sizes fit. Don't worry about that. Okay. And our, our, I will assume the logos are part of the image, right? So your homework assignment is to start to put that list together of all the items that will be in the store. Okay. The options for each item, as you mentioned, logo on white, logo on blue, logo on purple, logo on chartreuse, yeah. as well as sizes. You don't okay. don't worry about the prices yet because we'll use the next session when we get the base store set up. We'll use that next session to go in and enter all the pricing information and the detail information, taxes, etc. Oh, okay. So in the, in the next day or two, it's totally in your camp, images, list of items, use email them to me and Sierra. You have our email address. Yep. All right. Once we do that, then the next step on the next session is to show you we have an online store building form where it makes it a lot easier for you to actually send the information to us. We'll show you where to access the store building. In fact, I'm going to do it now to close out. All right. So you can't break. Go in and set up any store you want. Mess around. We can delete it. Uh, when you set up a store, just as an FYI, uh, you can always copy or what we call clone any store as well. So once okay. you set up some base stores, a lot of our clients do is they say, you know what? Most of the products in this store are also going to be in the next store I build. You can actually clone a store. So okay. we'll get into that a little bit later. So go into the here, play around, try and break it. Just don't launch it. In the upper right corner of your dash, there's a little button that says TUO Connect. Yep. All right. I had someone a couple days ago, they've been using us for about three months, and we said, uh, how come you never use the connect button? And they okay. said, oh my gosh, I was so afraid if I clicked on it, I might delete my account. <laughs> All right, so you're not going to delete your account. It's actually a okay. direct pipeline between you as the user and us. In fact, Great. as I'm sitting on this session right now, I'm on chat desk duty right now. As I'm sitting on this session, I just heard a chat, <laughs> chat come in from a client. See, that's it. <laughs> When you have a simple question, <laughs> shoot it via chat, and generally it's, it's simple sessions. Awesome, yep. Now the good news about our chat, even if I might have not have responded right then because we're on a session, we get a transcript yep. of all the questions that we've tracked back with you in about five minutes. Gotcha, perfect. 
Other things there, we have a hotline number, seven days a week. You call us. We call you back within one hour. Saturday night, 11 o'clock, for whatever reason, Saturdays and Sundays seem to always be busy, and we get a lot of phone calls. <laughs> So of a, a, a document that contains a couple of how to videos, just keep it okay. in your inbox, but it'll, it's also a way for you to have both of our direct contact information. All right. So the goal is we're going to have five stores launch in the next two weeks. Then awesome. by the end of the month, by November 30th, uh, you'll have about 1.5 million in sales. So mm -hmm. in the future, in your TUO connect button, this is actually where you can have direct access to our store building team. So, okay. I, hey, I want to set up the next store. I want TWO to build that store. I click on this button here, and it actually uh, launches a store building form. 